Chris, that was a really good 34-5 victory against Nuneaton Old Edwardians on Saturday. As a coach, what was most pleasing about that performance and who do you feel really stood out in that match? Yeah, I think the uh, just first and foremost the reaction of the players, obviously coming off the back of two defeats. Uh, we really need a reaction from the players. We uh, challenged them to start fast and the first 20 minutes was as good as we've started a game all season really. Um, so that was first and foremost very, very pleasing. And there was just some standout performances across the board really. You know, we've really put it to the players across the squad that, you know, everybody's playing for their shirt and if they get if they put a decent performance in, they'll get to keep hold of that shirt for the following week. And I think that showed right across the board. It's a rest week for the first team, there's no fixture, so what kind of approach do you take during those training weeks when there's no game but obviously another game to think about in a week and a bit's time? Yeah, it's very difficult um, in the sense of making sure that players are turning up for the right reasons. It's easy for players just to think that there isn't a game this weekend and uh, I won't have to train hard this week or I won't have to turn up. That's not the attitude that we've got here at Kenilworth, you know, it's a case of it's a massive squad uh, effort throughout the whole season. Um, so obviously there isn't a first team fixture but there is a second team fixture at home. Uh, which will give us a real good opportunity to play some of the players that have been on the fringe um, or that are coming back from injury perhaps so as far as I'm concerned it's full throttle uh, it's another big game, another big place, another you know another home game um, so it's something to get excited about so hopefully the players' attitude is geared up towards that this week of training